Hey guys, what's up? And this video is about constructors and constructor overloading. So let me just start by creating a new class. Her nest. Okay. And let me just create a class dog as usual. And within it, let me just create a constructor. What a constructor is? A constructor is a function which is the same name as a class in which the constructor is defined. And it has no data type. So within it let me just uh, let me just first have int x and y okay now in this let me just say x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 9 and says so I would in control space x plus y so now what we're gonna do is first we're gonna write public static y domain string me and within that let me just write okay my s is small and within that let me just create an object for the class dog obj is equal to new dog okay so this is how we call a constructor we want to create an object for the class and we say new is equal to dog this is what a constructor is I mean if we do not explicitly define the constructor this already implicitly defined uh, constructor dog in which there's nothing so when we actually uh, do uh, this thing we do not see anything but well, let me just run it Steve which is 16 so this is what a constructor is uh, now let me just um, show you what constructor overloading is first let me just tell you there's three types of constructor the first one is default constructor the second one is parameterized constructor and the third one is copy constructor the default constructor is this one and this is how we call it default constructor now let me just create a uh, parameterized constructor dog obj2 is equal to log uh, top let me just pass 4 and 7 okay so let me just create a constructor for this object and we have dog within that we want to have two uh, two arguments of int type because 4 and 7 are int so we have int uh, mommy and int papa so in that let me just uh, do sys out and control space mommy plus papa and uh, let me just run it it's 11 because 7 plus 4 is 11 7 8 9 10 11 so this is what uh, parameterized constructor is and this is what constructor overloading is what actually is constructor overloading when we want to pass when we create this thing this object for the dog what it does is it goes to the class dog and it searches for the constructor so when there's nothing we define uh, it just goes to the implicit constructor and there's nothing in it now we have defined the constructor dog implicitly so what this object does is it goes to the dog and then it searches for the constructor with no parameters so here it is and it then, do, it then does what inside the function of cymatic dog constructor dog what the second line does when we do this uh, the, what uh, what it does is it goes to the class dog and it searches for the constructor which has two parameters of the uh, type hint so here it is in mommy and in papa so now the compiler knows okay the developer wants me to call the constructor dark and mom and dad so this out print Alan mommy plus papa so now we get the output but what exactly a uh, uh, copy constructor is let me just show you directly dog obj3 is equal to new dog and inside it we actually want to pass uh, an object of the class dog so let me just pass obj which is an object for the class dog that is this one 
and then we want to create a constructor for this one let me just do dog uh, we want to have a parameter of the type dog so we have dog and then we have deer now what we want to do or uh, what it does it let me just show you int uh, int uh, bear and deer and let bear is equal to deer dot hex and uh, let wait one deer is equal to deer dot y okay and then I want to do sys out control space bear plus deer okay let me just run it Ooh. so 16 11 and 16 so I hope you got what a copy constructor is a copy constructor in that we want to pass an object of the type dog uh, as a parameter so I just pass dog and then when uh, when we first call this 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 one that is when we first call the OBJ we actually initialize x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 9 so when we are passing this OBJ3 and we are going here and we have beer and deer we want to assign beer is equal to deer dot x that is deer is an object which is OBJ uh, deer the uh, dark deer that is OBJ it is actually OBJ what we want to do is we want to beer we want to say that beer is equal to OBJ dot x and what is the OBJ dot x OBJ dot x is 7 and what is OBJ dot y OBJ dot y is 9 so actually this is how we do the copy constructor thing and then we just did sys out print ln and beer plus deer and this is constructor and constructor overloading and copy constructors so I just hope you got what I want to say and what, what I want to convey and uh, for more just subscribe and thanks for watching bye